Hey guys, Amy here with Hailbound Company and Sublimation and More. And in this quick video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to press these cute little linen uh, bunny bags. Now I've had two versions of these. Uh, version 1.0 came with the um, carrots glued into the pocket. And that video you can find on YouTube will show you how to take a heat gun and remove the carrot safely so that you can um, press on it and then apply the carrot back to it. Okay, so, but the version 2.0 now comes without the carrot. Glued in, so then all you can do is just simply remove the carrot before pressing. So, um, that is the difference as far as the carrot goes. Now, in version 2.0, my supplier decided to change the inner lining, which affects how it is pressed via sublimation. Um, it cannot take the high temps because it's a thinner lining now, which I was not aware of until just recently. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to press um, with some modified changes and get a good press using sublimation. Also, I highly recommend using vinyl for these because vinyl requires a lot lower temperature. So you will not have any problems with the inside melting using the vinyl method as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you will need to take your lint roller and you will want to remove any loose uh, fibers off there so they don't press when you press them. All right. Secondly, um, a lot of times we tell you to pre-press because they are heat sensitive, I am not going to have you pre-press and they will still be fine. So, but third, what you will need to do to get a successful press is you will need a Teflon sheet. And if you have a big piece like I have here, I recommend just folding it up to give it in, to make it even thicker. Okay. So all I did was just take a big piece of my Teflon sheet and I am going to put it in the bunny bag as far as possible. Now, another thing I recommend doing is taking any loose stuffing out of the bag. And go ahead and do that. And if you hear that tape gun, that's Eldon packing away over there, over on the warehouse side. Okay, so you're just going to put the um, Teflon sheet in there and you're gonna get it to go as far as you can, all right? And then we're going to just put the straps over it like this. You wanna lay it on top of your butcher paper. Now remember, we're not going to press the bunny feet, so you want to put this as far to the edge as you can so that where that Teflon cuts off right there, you can, um, you're not pressing into this down here, any of this down here causing it to melt as well. So the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your adhesive spray. I'm currently using the Condi Ditrans Pro Spray and you're going to want to lightly spray over your transfer. Okay, I recommend you doing this over the trash can so that you don't get adhesive all over your um, bottom heat press platen or all over the floor. Probably put a little extra. Next, you're going to place your name. All right, and then we're going to put our top paper on there. And we're going to bring our press over. This can be tricky if you're using a swing away. Just gently work it over. I'm going to pull to the side to make sure. It's, you probably can't see that part. I'm going to push in. So now what we're going to do is we're going to press at 365 degrees for 80 seconds. Again, that is 365 degrees for 80 seconds. Now, those times and tips can vary based on your heat press. They're just a starting guideline. So you may actually, if your press is heating up, it usually heats up hotter, you'll have to go a little lower in temp. I recommend starting by five degrees lower. If you, if it's by, the other way around, if your heat press is under on temperature, you'll need to go up by five degrees. But again, it's just a starting guideline for you guys. So we will go ahead and come back when it's all finished. 
All right, we're last down into our last couple seconds. I'm going to try to move this over so hopefully you guys can see it in the camera. Okay. All right, so you're going to want to remove your your transfer quickly. You're going to want to remove the Teflon quickly. Shake out the bag, air it out a little bit so it doesn't stick together. It's still warm. Now remember, the important part of this was to get the Teflon to cover as much of the inner bag as possible. So as you can see, the bag did not melt. It, it started to fade a little bit right there, but these are the time and temperatures and using the Teflon, uh, the Teflon sheet will really help to keep them from sticking together and making it look disastrous on the inside. So again, the Teflon sheet is the key. You want to make sure you put as much as, get that Teflon sheet in there and cover all of these points of the white so that they do not stick together. But as you can see, it came out great, no problems. Again, you're going to press for 365 degrees for 80 seconds and you must use your Teflon sheet to keep it from sticking together. Don't try to use foam or anything else because I've tried that. I've been testing all day. If you use foam, it will stick to the foam. The only thing it seems to work with is the Teflon sheet. And I know most of y'all started in vinyl, so most of you probably have a Teflon sheet. If you don't, you can get them off of Amazon fairly quickly. So this is how you press the bunny bags without having them melt on the inside successfully using sublimation. Again, you won't have any issues if you use vinyl. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, thanks for watching.